What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Luna and I are happy to have you back on the channel for today's video. We hope you guys are enjoying the holiday seasons and as always like we say every video guys a thumbs up goes a long way towards helping us get noticed by that YouTube algorithm. Today guys we are going to be talking about a topic that I don't think that we have covered much of on the YouTube channel. We do have a blog post about it that has been on the website for quite a while, but today we are going to be talking about the sleeping habits and the sleeping behaviors that you can expect with a Jack Russell Terrier. How much they sleep, what's normal, what you can do to provide a good sleeping environment for your Jack Russell, and anything related to the topic of sleep in general. But before we kick that off guys, as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that now if you've been enjoying the content. Be sure to hit that notification button so you're notified for all of our future videos that have been coming out every week. And never forget to check out terrierowner.com where you can find all of this useful advice in a written format or any other topic that you may need help on with your Jack Russell Terrier. But now guys, let's go ahead and jump into the topic. And the way I want to break this topic down today is I want to start with, you know, what you can expect based on the timeline. So we're gonna start with the sleeping habits, you know, of a puppy, of a Jack Russell Terrier that you just adopted that is a puppy. Because these are vastly different than the sleeping habits your Jack Russell will have later in life. The good news is that when a Jack Russell Terrier is a puppy, sleep is going to be one of those things that you get to enjoy quite a bit of. When this dog is a puppy, sleeping is about one of the only things it really likes to do. We actually talked about this in our video that we made a few weeks back when we discussed fear cycles and some of the fear stages that a Jack Russell will experience in a new household as they are socializing and learning their environment. But when a Jack Russell is a puppy and they are just getting home, one of the biggest things you will notice this dog doing is just basically curling up in your lap and going in and out of a nap state of mind for hours upon hours a day. When they're awake, they'll kind of, you know, maul around slowly throughout the house and then they'll, you know, go potty if you're working on potty training and things like that. But in general, when they, this dog is a puppy, sleeping is one of the main things that they're going to be doing, which is perfectly normal. So don't get too, you know, upset about that or think something's wrong. A Jack Russell or really any dog breed in general, when they are a puppy, they will be sleeping a lot. But that does move us into phase two of sleeping behaviors with this dog and it comes down to probably the most painful stage of sleeping habits with this dog. And that is when you're gonna have to deal with a little bit of separation anxiety, debating if you're going to use crate training to get them capable of sleeping away from you or sleeping by themselves, which I do believe in crate training, I do highly recommend it, but that is going to be the next major sleep related issue you're going to run into is the overnight sleeping habits and behaviors. And what I can tell you about that guys is the sleeping behaviors are okay, they're pretty normal, they will sleep through the night. The problem is is that for you know three, I would say three to five days, you are going to be dealing with a dog that is whining obnoxiously they do not do well when they are alone in the beginning that separation anxiety is really kicking in even if you're in the same house as them they really like to be around somebody they were used to being around their mother as a puppy or you know their other siblings and now whenever you start utilizing crate training they do freak out a little bit the biggest advice i can give you for that guys is you just have to rough it out you have to stick through those three to five days almost like a baby crying it out whenever they need to sleep through the night or sleep in their own room like a toddler trying to sleep in their own room instead of wanting to go back into mom and dad's bed. It's kind of the same thing. You need to rough it out and get them accustomed to being able to sleep on their own and be by themselves so that they can be a little bit more of an independent dog. All right guys, now that you're past those two phases, the puppy sleeping and the, you know, the separation anxiety and crate training sleeping, you're gonna move into more of a normal sleeping pattern. When you reach this stage, it is not abnormal for a Jack Russell to sleep 12 to 14 hours a day. You know, especially if you're following most of the directions or advice that we've given on this channel in the past, which is providing a lot of exercise, keeping this dog active. A lot of the time that they are, you know, burning off that energy, the other parts of the day is they're actually exhausted and they're willing to be a calmer dog breed, so to speak. So 12 to 14 hours in a day is not abnormal for this dog to sleep, but it is perfectly okay. I will say that the more exercise you make sure you provide this dog, the more steady 
sleep patterns you're going to get from them, the more exhausted they're going to be. I've said it once and I'll say it a thousand times on this channel, but you know, the best version of this dog comes when you tucker them out a little bit. So when it comes to making sure they're getting healthy sleep, they're actually getting tired and getting that rest, the more exercise and things that you can do for them to stimulate their body and stimulate their mind, the better. Now on the flip side guys, we talked about puppyhood. Um, that's going to be the exception of when 12 to 14 hours may not be the number. The sleeping may be pretty dramatically increased when they're a puppy. And even though I'm not at that stage with Luna anymore, she's going to be four years old here. Next September, she before we will reach the point where she becomes an older Jack Russell at some point, and that it is known that when this dog gets older, that their sleep increases as well. So the two, you know, caveats or exceptions to the sleeping rule, so to speak, with the amount of hours that this dog is going to sleep, will be when they're a puppy, or be whenever they are an older, you know, senior Jack Russell, so to speak. Outside of that, guys. This dog, you know, unless it seems something very worrisome, they're sleeping just an abnormal amount, or maybe the flip side, you don't notice them really able to sleep at all. You know, you're not gonna have to do much worrying about it. They are gonna take care of themselves in that aspect, especially once you get through that anxiety and crate training situation that I mentioned earlier in the video. If you are noticing something abnormal, obviously that's a good situation that it wouldn't be a bad idea to contact a vet. Just to be safe, it's always better to be safe than sorry in those situations, but outside of that guys, you know, if you had to wrap this up in a summary, I would say provide a lot of exercise, expect a ton of sleep from this dog when they're a puppy, expect crate training to be pretty anxiety filled for both you and your new Jack Russell. It's a painful three to four days while they're getting used to it, but it is worth it if you fight through it. And this is a topic, guys, that we always love to hear your feedback as well. You know, what did you go through with your Jack Russell? You know, what does your Jack Russell sleeping patterns look like? Do they look different than what I just discussed? Be sure to leave comments like that for us down below so that we can all learn from each other and learn more about this dog breed in general. Again, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, now would be a great time to do so. A thumbs up on this video always goes a long way for us and we always appreciate it hit that notification button so you're notified in the future for future videos and never forget to check out terrierowner.com outside of that guys we know christmas is coming up so we wish you guys all happy holidays and we will catch you in next week's video take care